up. So if we look at x plus 2 as a factor, all right, so that means we can go ahead and apply, that means negative 2 is a 0, and we can apply synthetic division. So we have 1, negative 1, negative 7, negative 2, right? There's no missing terms or anything like that. Uh, we're basically good to go. So we always bring down the first number, multiply on the diagonals, add on the verticals. 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. Negative 1 plus negative 2 is negative 3. Negative 3 times 2 is going to be a positive 6. Negative 7 plus 6 is negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 2 is a positive 2. 0, which we said, so we're good there. Remainder, constant, linear, quadratic. So we know x minus 2 is a factor, good. So we could say 0, or we could say, you know, basically if this is a factor and we want to find all the zeros, then we want to write, we want to write all the, pro we want to write a product of the factors equal to 0, right? To find all the factors, like to set them all equal to 0. So we could say 0 equals x plus 2 times x squared plus x minus 1 to find all the zeros, because now we can just apply zero product property. Well, here we already know the zeros is negative 2. So that one's kind of easy. Is that not plus negative 3x? It is. I don't know where I got that. So that's minus 3x, minus 1, right? Yeah, it's plus negative. Mm -hmm. So, but now we have an issue. We have a big issue. It's not factorable. It's not factorable. Crap. What did that formula Mr. McLogan told us about, though? He said we need to know, and we need to know when to apply it, right? I actually have a phone call I gotta take. Sorry.